I do everything I can to keep our environment clean and tidy. I'm going to give you all that life story you think you know so well. It is because I smoke marijuana. I see that people did bring up my history with CPS. If you think that that didn't teach me how to cross my T's and top my at. Well, hello, hello. We are talking about the resilient Jenkins family of seven living in a one bedroom apartment again. In my previous video, I barely scratched the surface with this type of trashy parenting, making your kids sleep on a dirty floor next to the cat litter box while they sleep comfortably in a king bed in a private room. On today's episode of How I'm Losing My Fucking Mind, I just ordered three personalized cat collars or strays outside. Do y'all know I already have four cats? It's muff flipping frustrating when you've got more than one especially coming at you like, hey mom, can I do this? Hey mom, do this. Mom, go make me dinner. You in the kitchen? Okay, I'm in the kitchen making dinner. But then they come at me with mom, the cat puked, come pick up the puke. Mom, I just dropped this. Mom, 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 mom. And it's like, who the f is Stephanie anymore? I don't even know. I also slightly touched on how the mom, Stephanie, is currently very pregnant and has been smoking throughout her whole pregnancy. Smoking is not good for your health, but you know what? I don't care. I love My sister says to me the other day, I don't know how you do it. You just have this like ability to keep going no matter what, no matter how tired you are. Sis, it is because I smoke marijuana. I got that Mary Jane running through my vein. She also talks about how she does not gentle parent. Listen, you're finna hate me for this one, but this is my fifth child, okay? Gentle parenting don't do shit. I will not raise my kids with gentle parenting. You got me bent back sideways. Which can only mean that on top of the poor living conditions, those young children also have to experience forms of abuse. We also talked about how the husband, Andrew, refuses to get a real job because it's just too hard. And if he got a regular job, that would mean he would have to pay a bunch of back child support that he owes on a child that he doesn't even acknowledge so instead they decided to panhandle on tiktok what they definitely don't tell you about going viral is that suddenly everybody and their mother thinks your business is theirs y'all low key got hands on my hipaa information at this point because some of the stuff you be digging up i have no idea how you can legally be obtaining any of this information but since that video a lot more has come out and if you didn't think things could get any worse they did let's start with the fact that we thought stephanie and drew are married because they call each other husband and wife but in fact they are not stephanie is still married to another guy who is i believe currently behind bars her real name is stephanie thompson not jenkins the husband that she's still legally married to is the father of her two daughters and he's currently in prison for many different things but one being essaying his mother and like another seven-year-old child and you may be thinking well good on stephanie that she got away from that no 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 she knew about the whole thing he's like her high school sweetheart or something like that and before they even got married he had a similar arrest he's been on the registry for a while and it seemed like that never bothered her it just shows you the kind of taste she has in men stephanie thompson married a man known well and full that he had sexually assaulted his mother pick your mouth up off the floor because mine was there too when i heard it his mother. Not only did he sexually assault his mother, a seven-year-old, and another victim under 14. Can we just take a moment to what the f And to make matters worse, you may be thinking, how did she end up in this one-bedroom apartment? Like, how did she get there? Well, apparently her living situation with her children was not always bad. In fact, she lived in a three-bedroom apartment with her mother, and the kids had their own room. Yes, so Stephanie's mom was in my live yesterday and actually did confirm that the apartment that they live in was drew's apartment originally with just him and his son then miss stephanie came over with her two kids and invaded mr drew's son's space and then before this stephanie's mom confirmed that stephanie lived with her mom they had a three-bedroom apartment so she took her kids out of their comfortable three-bedroom apartment where they had more than enough space after one month of knowing him she just took her kids and crammed them all up in his little tiny one-bedroom apartment. Given her taste in men, putting her daughters in this position is not only irresponsible and neglectful, but can also lead to something more criminal. It's not the fact that she simply moved her and her two girls into that man's one bedroom, but it's the fact that she moved him in after only dating and knowing him for one month. 
so apparently they met each other and instantly hit it off and they wanted to like seal the family relationship really fast and so she moved in with him after knowing him for one month and already had her two girls calling that man daddy like I just feel like that is so not safe. So many people have already started dissecting every single one of their videos and have noticed that those kids have bruises on a lot of the times. I'm going to show you a picture, okay? And I want you to take a look at it. Use clear screen if you have to and tell me what you notice. This is the picture that I want you guys to look at. And I want to see if you guys notice. So pause if you need to, do clear screen, and I want you to look in this picture and see if you notice. Well, here it is zoomed in if you didn't see it. These are the shoes of Stephanie's stepson. You know, the one that she sits on live and complains about taking care of, that she screams and curses at. Mm -hmm. These are her daughter's shoes. Those are um, the pretty new looking shoes that her daughters are wearing. I wonder if those came off the Amazon wish list. So if her daughters have new shoes, why doesn't, why doesn't her son, and I don't care if it's a stepson, why doesn't her son have new shoes? I don't know. It's just weird for me when you have money to be rolling and doing drugs on your live, you don't have money to put your son in a decent pair of shoes that aren't falling off of his feet. And when you couple that with what we've seen Stephanie say to that little boy on camera and the way we've seen her talk to him, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to sit here with this comment and you guys can do with it whatever you will. The videos of her children, specifically the videos of her children eating, I already felt like it was a little bit deliberate, especially being that she has come on here saying that she has been trying to use her kids to go viral for years at this point. Now, can you tell me what kind of person happily marries a registered SO and chooses to have children with them and then is using those children to try to make money on this platform? I'm just saying. So Stephanie had to come out with a response and let me just say she completely avoids the main concerns. I'm sure you know there is a lot being said about me and I think that it's time that I maybe give my my story, let people decide for themselves if they want to hear it from people who weren't there, who didn't experience it or the person who actually went through it. A lot of people have just already decided to hate me and that's your stance, that's your right. I'm not gonna try to convince you otherwise. You most so certainly don't have my kids' best interest in mind when you're sharing their exact location, letting people know where they go to school and putting them in danger in that position. Now one could come at me and say, well, you've shared enough about your location that we can pin it down. Nobody told you to go pinning down anybody's location. I'm certainly never going to be doing that to any family. That's their business. That's their life. Why would anybody need to take the time to pin down our location? I see that people did bring up my history with CPS. If you think that that didn't teach me how to cross my T's and top my, eye, top my I's, then that would be crazy. Of course, I took that knowledge and tried to grow from it and make sure that I do the best I can to provide an environment for my kids with the circumstances that I have. I don't have my version of the story. I haven't elaborated completely on what I went through with my ex-husband or any of the position of what I went through in the work field. It's all reasoning behind where I'm at today. Let's get one thing clear here. This isn't an unfortunate story of a poor family living in poverty. This is a twisted tale about a woman who chose to take her children out of their normal living conditions to put them in a tiny disgusting apartment so that they can go viral. This was all premeditated by Stephanie. She could easily go back to her mom's house and stop the suffering of her children, but instead she chooses this man over her children's well-being. And yes, apparently a lot of people called CPS plenty of times, but they're not going to do much about it, especially here in Portland, Oregon. They're pretty lax when it comes to these things. There have been so many people calling them out and exposing them for who they truly are, bringing up a lot of their past and... It just shows more how problematic they are. Okay, so if you want to know why he left me um, owing seventeen twenty in rent, it's because 
he was smoking it up. And I ain't talking about no reefer. Other shit. And me, personally, I don't like that type of shit around my kids. I don't have that type of shit around my kids. And it's safe to say those children are not safe in that home whatsoever. If something doesn't change soon, it's giving a true crime episode. I don't know. I'm just done talking about these people. They really put me in a bad mood. So I'll see you in my next one. Peace.